TaylorMade may have nailed the mini driver category with the TaylorMade Burner Mini Edition here in 2023. Kevin's done some initial testing and has loved what he's seen so far. Today is the string report covering that club, telling you everything you need to know, and then Kevin will do some official track mate testing. Golfers, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. You give this video a like and then tell us in the comments what you think of the Burner Mini Driver. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined on the driving range today by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing from the Columbia store here in yeah. Minnesota on a sunny and not so hot summer day, which is great for Fantastic. my Fantastic. I'm glad to actually get, get to experience this. It's, 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 isn't it nice? It's, 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 it's yeah. lovely. Yeah. Your uh, state is lovely. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, well, certain times of year. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, the last few times, not yeah, so much. Right. Yeah. Um, TaylorMade Burner Mini Driver. Uh, I, I think, you know, the mini driver thing, TaylorMade's kind of been chasing it for a while now. Yes, they have. Um, Without a ton of success. And I know you are very excited. You you think they may have got it this time, or at least they've oh, I know really they got nailed it this time. It this time they nailed it With this the time. burner mini. Yeah, they did. They got so it. Right. We've, we, we can talk about the K-Sole, we could talk about the weight adjustments, um, or the, you know, the other technology that TaylorMade has in there. But what about it is, why are you so excited about it this time? Because it looks good and it feels good and it sounds good and it goes good. Okay. So everything about it is good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even the name. So if you'll remember, uh, the SLDR, right? Yes, I do remember. You remember what happened with that? Well, in terms of, I remember it was a, it wasn't super successful. Just name wise. Do you remember what happened with that? Oh, no. So they came out with the SLDR driver. Yeah. Callaway patented the term slider, mm. apparently. So anytime the reps had to refer to their driver, they had to call it the SLDR. They had to say right? SLDR. This here is the BRNR. So they can call it the burner. Yeah, because they have burners. Yeah, I yeah. like that. I like that little yeah. history lesson. Yeah. Uh, Educate. Educate. So we also should probably preface the viewers about where you're at with your game and your bag and why this could be a serious you know, option for you okay. uh, as a Three wood, two wood, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm a mental case. Like that's that's kind of uh, kind of well established for anybody that's been following along. I have the yips with the driver, and so uh, I've got them managed. They're not going away, but I got them managed. I can hit driver a lot of the time, but there are certain holes I'm going to step up to, and I can't. I just yeah. know I can't. And so three woods become a it's become my savior. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, I get it. You know, keep it jacked up loft and try to hit it 270 plus off the tee and uh, that allows me to hit it on holes that I get just scared on. Sure. So, and there's there's a fair number of those. Yeah. So I hit well, three wood a lot. So that's why this is intriguing because this is a jacked up three wood. Yeah. I mean, she she big, right? Yeah. It's not it's, it's not a it's definitely not a a tuned up three wood. It's like they they pumped this thing up. Yeah. You know? Right. Right. So yeah. So. What we're gonna do today, we're gonna hit a few shots mm -hmm. off the tee and then a few off the turf. Mm -hmm. And we may or may not have some other numbers to reference in a different video coming soon, or that might be already up actually at this point. Yeah. Um, that I know you're kind of comparing with with a couple options I may yes. throw in the bag. I'm so this is one of the options. So yep. this is not just a video for your information and entertainment, but also this is Kevin testing out some clubs for his bags. Yeah. Um, the Fun burner stuff. mini driver, I think we're ready to swing away here. Yeah, awesome. Woo. Little fader. Little fade. Shaft feels a little weak. Yeah, probably is a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So we have the, is that 65 gram stiff? And that's it kind is. of the stock option. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, it's the stock so. shaft. So it's, it just, I kind of lost the head there just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the second swing I'll have, uh, oh, second swing. Hopefully uh, I'll have that uh, second swing, dialed yeah. in. Yeah. And that's what second swing is all about, getting you dialed in. So. Or not. Well, those are two very repeatable golf shots. They are. They are more or less the same thing. Very high. So the first one was about 275 total. This one was 272.1. Okay. Uh, that one was 122 feet in the air. Uh. Previous one was 113. So, okay. so very similar golf shots. So spins just high. hovering around 3,000 with those two. So. All right, let's see if I can, let's see, just, just about 2,000? No, 3,000. 3,000. 3, okay. Hovering around 3,000. Okay. Yeah. 
That was turning. There we go. All right, so that was three swings off the tee there. Uh -huh. um, What's the, the, it's different, right? Because this is, there's not a lot of clubs like this. You're, you don't yeah. see clubs that size yeah. I mean, out there. So yeah. what, is there anything different that you're doing? Like, are you hitting that with a driver swing? Or are you hitting it with three wood swing? I, I mean. Basically with driver swing. Um, and I, I, I'm a sweeper anyway. So okay. hybrids, fairway woods, I'm playing forward and, and not trying to get in there. Right. Okay. So, um, what I did notice with this one was at 13 and a half degrees, I see a lot of this face. Yeah. Right. One of the other clubs that we tested. Yeah. At 13 and a half degrees. At 13 and a half degrees. Uh, much smaller. Yeah. Didn't see much face. Okay. Right. Uh, the testing that I have done with this particular golf club in the past was with the 11 and a half degree okay. head. So um, definitely a little different in that, in sure. that setup there. Um, okay. So I, I love the way this looks. I, I'm not intimidated by the size. Yeah. Um, it's, I think it, I think it looks good. It feels fantastic. Yep. They got everything right with the, the carbon crown, um, ability to throw weight around, you know, all the adjustability, just yep. fantastic. Right. So I just didn't put three really great swings on that. Sure. So sure. It is what well, it is. And, and so the average spin there was 29, 27, which I know is a little higher than you're hoping yes, for. Yes. Um, we should know, again, the shaft probably plays a big role in that as yeah, well. Yeah, this um, isn't what I would probably throw in here myself. But, okay. you know, it's, it's yeah. fine for testing. So 274.7 was the total average. Okay. Um, carrying it 257. So oh. still some really so, good distance. Yeah, I mean, the numbers Despite there are... the maybe extra spin. So that yeah. kind of tells me there's... If the spin there's is more kind of there. optimized, there's probably more, extra more 10 to 15 yards there yeah. like, to be had. I like so, the sound of that. Um, pretty good there. So now let's okay. hit a few off the deck. Okay. Which we know we have some high standards to live up to off the deck there. So Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when you look down and you, you see this, this is not... <laughs> I I haven't hit a, a, a 460 cc driver off the deck in well since 460 cc drivers were so and this is thing. I believe around 300 yeah so back in the day okay dating myself here if the hair on my chin doesn't do that already um, I used to hit driver off the deck all the time yeah right they're, they're tiny little driver heads and, mm -hmm. and the stuff was easy so uh, this one looks looks like a pumped up three wood we've, we've talked okay. about that. Thoughts. This club, as it's currently configured, likes to go right. Yeah. That's my first thought. Um, that felt great. It got up in the air. How were the numbers? What would you What would you What would you guess on the carry in total? <sighs> two forty nine carry, two sixty seven. Two forty two and two sixty four. Okay. The spin was twenty eight forty. So that's okay. it. It's still yeah. spinning. So I just got to square the darn thing up and I'll be all right. Good. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one is a little more spin there. A little, little, a little thin. Tiny bit, okay. a little thin. So yep. I went to 3490 on the spin. So about another 400 okay. probably. Right. Again, not terrible, right? We yeah. didn't see that. It didn't go 4200 like you right. might see with another, a fairy wood really. There's a lot of fairy woods out there that will go you know, from yes. the high 2000s up to the 4000s. Yes. Um, so that that's good to see that, you know, a, yes, a miss hit absolutely. off the deck yeah. is not going to kill you. Yeah, no. And that's where we're going to, that's typically where we're going to miss in a fairway wood, right? right? So when pain. you give them, give somebody something this much bigger, I think that tendency is going to be. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. I'm really interested in this one. Yeah? Yeah. It didn't look like the cleanest strike. It was hit pretty good. At least it felt like it was hit pretty good. Okay. I just okay, got okay. down on it a little bit. That spin went down. Okay. This is numbers that you're kind of, these are the numbers that you're okay. You're after here. 2371 spin. Oh, yes. 273.7 on the total distance. Okay. So nice. you got it up there in the 270s. The wind has kicked up a little bit and here too. And the wind is yes. at your face. Yeah. Um, and you, the, the cool thing about that one is, well, that cool thing. It was a 145 smash. Nice. And I know there's more there in is the more. tank there. Okay. So I think, my cons my verdict after hit watching you hit three and three yeah. here is that you get that club optimized that thing is going to be a killer you get the right shaft hold that thought I, I like that okay what adjustment are you making mr kraft i'm going down and loft down and loft yep 
Okay. I'm also going to set it on the upright setting because everything seems to want to go to the right today. So let's just jam this thing to where it's now playing at 12 degrees. Okay. And upright. I love adjustable golf clubs. Absolutely love adjustable golf clubs. So we saw the ball. So what happened here was Kevin A saw the ball leaking a little bit to the right and the ball was going plenty high for him, right? Especially yep. off the tee. Yep. So upright on the, uh, to kind of fix the, the right, the right miss, moving it upright and then also decreasing the loft down to 12. Okay. So I've got it tagged as such. We'll see how that goes. Okay, looks a lot cleaner to me. I don't see nearly as much of the face. Yeah. It's, it's always enough. been a yeah. thing. I just, I've never really liked to see a whole lot of the, the club face when I'm setting up to, to shots. Oh. Okay, upright setting definitely helped. One, five, zero, smash. Okay. One, 53.9 ball speed, which my, I think is the highest I've seen today. Okay. Yes. All right. I think we might have a winner here. Yes. <laughs> 254.4 carry. 281.5 oh, total. Oh, there's you the eight the, number. You got the okay. 280s. Nice. 2521 spin. Nice. Okay. So, club's doing everything it's supposed to do. <laughs> ah. You're excited for that one. That was good. The way you turn around. That was good. Me. You're excited for these numbers. That was good. 23.59 spin, yes. 254.4 carry, 282.2 total. Yes. Okay. This is what happens when you optimize a golf club. Yes. Now, you going to go off the deck here now? I'm going to try and go off the deck here. Okay. Now. I got to make sure that I keep this in line because this is the proper way to hit yes. uh, range shots. You want to leave just a little bit of space in there and do the a straight line back. Yep. It's easy for a greenskeeper to fix that. Public service yes. announcement. Do not hit your range balls at random locations yes. throughout your yes. hitting spot. Correct. Ah, that was a little off the bottom. Okay. Which I'm, is, you know, that's fair. That's fair. It's a big, your it's a big ball off speed club. actually went up, which is, I think you're, you're, you're getting some extra juice behind these swings. I think you're excited about the club. <laughs> 156 ball speed, 150 smash, but the ball was off the bottom a little bit, yep. so it carried. Or the spin is thirty four forty six. Okay, but it still carried two fifty four. Again, 254. not bad when you're when you're yeah, catching. Yeah, I mean the ball still carried two fifty four to go two seventy three. Yeah. So okay. that's still phenomenal. Yeah, that's great. Ooh, ooh, like a laser. Like a laser. One fifty three point. Oh, actually one fifty four ball speed. We got that one, a little more spin that one over to the 3172. Okay. So, well, more spin as in compared to off the tee, which I right. think is generally expected. 249.7 carry, 271.7 total, so. Okay, I did catch that one just slightly lower on the okay. bikini here, yep. So, off the, with the new settings, basically, you were hitting the ball off the deck around 265, 263 to 264 total. Um, you obviously went over 270 with those two shots. Mm -hmm. And then I was when you teed that one up, you went over 280 both times. So optimizing the club. Yes. And then next part, obviously, in a fitting would be the shaft, yeah. which we would dial in. Yep. And you could chase that thing out to potentially 285, even closer to 290. I would love to see 285 and then still be able to create the kind of trajectory that, that we got off right. of these. I mean, off what was the height off the deck? Off the deck, the height was, let me see here. I'll expand the shots here. With the, with the new setting? Yeah. You had 96 on the first ball and 79 on the second one. Okay. So, so a little more penetrating on the second one. Yeah. That's fine. Kind of that, it was lower kind of draw that yeah. one. So. Yeah. So even still, I mean, I'm not, I'm not standing there expecting the, to hit something that's going to be, you know, 11 and a half degrees. Yeah. You know, towering shot coming towering in. Towering shot steep. that lands softly by the yeah. hole. I, yeah. I can't have everything. I, I want it all, <laughs> but I can't have it all, right? There's right. going to be those, those things that we can't necessarily uh, create. But um, yeah, this was, uh, this was great. Taylor made absolutely nailed this thing. Mm -hmm. This is so far superior to any version they have released ever on the on the mini driver it's not even it's not even yeah. the, it's not even the same zip code mm, yeah. yeah well i mean there's the the fun part about this the discussion we're about to have here shortly is 
Who is it for? Yeah. So we'll get into that here shortly, but really good numbers from the testing, both off the tee and then off the deck here yeah. for the Verner Mini. All right, Mr. Kraft, testing complete. Tailor-made Burner Mini Driver. Lots of positive feedback from you in this yeah. testing. So yeah. um, let's quickly recap that, what you loved about both off the tee and off the turf, what you love about it and why you think this one's so much better than the previous ones. It's just everything about this is better. Um, we have adjustable weights, mm -hmm. okay? You give me more adjustability, I'm gonna be a happy guy, Yeah. right? Uh, the fit and finish of this is just better. The carbon crown looks good. I like the color scheme just fine. Um, just everything about this, from the from looking down on it to looking down on it this way and knowing what I can do with it to hitting the shots. Yeah. Uh, this feels different from any one that they've had in the yeah. past. I mean, I am definitely somebody who fits this category, right? It's it's a little bit of a niche group, right? Those right. who are struggling with driver and feel like they do pretty well with three wood and this is something that's kind of in between. Yeah. You know, trying to be that maybe that stepping stone to getting into a driver or somebody like me who hits three wood off the tee a ton and can maybe get a little extra out of it. Yeah. Right. I think there's a little extra yeah. in here. Oh, yeah, right? absolutely. So, um it's definitely a club that's going to be a little more challenging to hit off the deck than yeah. it is off the just tee. The, the just bigger, by virtue of the face. size yeah, of it, right? right. But um, it is it is versatile that way, and you can do you can do both. So uh, Yeah, because one thing I'm curious about is, so you mention it often as for a player that would basically use it as a two-wood or a three-wood, yeah. right? Something yeah. where they already have a driver. Yeah. How about, would it fit a player that might not want a big driver? They Maybe yes. they want... 100%. Maybe they want the 11 and a half loft option yep. that they can loft that even down yep. towards 10 degrees yep. and play that as their driver we get people in that say i really struggle with the size of these these new heads yeah. right well guess what we have limited options that way because yeah. pretty much everybody's gone to, to mm -hmm. that size so uh without putting them into something that's inherently hard to hit yeah you know you look at a uh, okay titleist tsr4 right it's a little smaller more compact yeah. looking head it's not their most forgiving head, no, right? Not at all. So the, the challenges are definitely there. Uh, this is this is a forgiving golf club, though. Yeah, uh, and and fantastic. And we can make it more forgiving by swapping weights around if we mm -hmm. need to. Right. Yeah. That's the really cool part that they added. Yes. So Thirteen gram weights can go. Yep. Obviously, the, the heavier weight uh, in the in the forward yep. can lower that spin and lower that trajectory. Yep. Move it back a little more forgiving, yep. higher launching. So. And we've got two different. Two different uh, loft heads. We got a 13.5 and an 11.5. Yeah. So 11.5 uh, will to go that down piece to about, 9.5. To so, that piece yeah. about driver yep. as using it as driver or yep. potentially as a two or three wood. Correct. So Absolutely. a lot of versatility with the burner mini, Very and uh, may or may not be in Kevin's bag here soon. So. Um, it's been uh, it's been fun to test this one. I know you're very yeah. excited about it. I am and, very excited about it. I think um, it's I think it's great. It, it just it it ticks all my boxes. Well, that means a lot of golfers out there watching this might also tick their boxes too. So yes, if you might. think you need a burner mini driver uh you benefit from it in your bag make sure you schedule that fitting a second swing with someone like kevin get you dialed in and playing the burner mini as either a fairy wood replacement for you or even a driver replacement for you either one um it's going to be a great option for your bag so kevin coming back july 15th there you go perfect yeah. exactly kevin thank you for joining Absolutely. great stuff here today yeah, fun good